Jessica is with us in Indianapolis. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Better than I deserve. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? All right. So I am currently a college student in my second year, second semester, and I have managed to pay for school with my parents' help cash. cash. Good. Great. Um, yeah, um, I worked really hard, um, but now my cash flow is coming to a really low level. And um, I can actually pay for this year, but um, next year I'm going to have a really big struggle. So how do I convince my parents that I don't want to take out loans and I would rather transfer schools? Mm-hmm. How do I convince them that that's the right choice for me? Okay. Well, how much is the school? Um, right now, um, for tuition, I pay about five thousand dollars a semester out of pocket. Mm-hmm. And, and what year? Also, what year are you? I am a sophomore right now. Okay, and so you've got this year taken care of, but your junior and senior year, uh, you're going to be struggling to do that. Yes. But it's ten thousand dollars a year, right? Yes. Okay, out of pocket, and how much of that are you paying? Um. Well, this year I am paying for um. Well, okay, out of my pocket, mm-hmm. I currently have about three and a half thousand dollars in savings. No, how, mu- how much? I'm, how much would you have to pay in your junior and senior year that your parents could not cover? Oh, how much is that? Mm-hmm. Um, probably about twelve and a half, thirteen. So they're not going to cover anything. They're no, not not so, much. Wait a minute, it's ten thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Okay, so how would it I be twelve and a half? Nine thousand dollars a year. Okay, let me stop. I, 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 I wait a minute, stop, stop. I'm I'm confused with the numbers. Are you talking about twelve and a half to finish both years? Yes, for both years. Oh, okay. So like sixty uh so like six thousand dollars a year you need. Yes. And you make nine thousand. Yeah. But and, I also um have a car payment that I'm buying off of my parents and um How much is I'm that? Buying, um, I pay about 150 a month. Okay. I would probably rather you sell the car than I would and get you a beater of some kind than I would change okay. schools. Because um, your school's not that outrageous. No. $10,000 a year tuition is not outrageous. What school are you going to? I actually um, have a really good scholarship through the University of Indianapolis. Oh, okay. Right. Um, and that's so, helping. Okay. The scholarship's yeah. cutting down your cost. I see. Yeah. Okay, and how many but hours a week? Reason. How many hours are you working? Um, I need my car to go to my job, which is the problem. But I work at UPS. You need a about, car to go to your job. Yeah. You don't need your car. Correct. Correct. Um, I work about twenty hours a week, mm-hmm. and through UPS, I actually get another scholarship. Oh, you're working for UPS. Yes. Good. Yes. And they're, they not, they're not paying for the whole thing. Uh. What do you mean? UPS in some cities pays for the whole thing. I guess not this particular university, though. Okay. Yeah. Some cities, mm-hmm. if you work part-time for UPS, they'll just pick up your tuition. Mm-hmm. But this, um, where I'm working at, they have a tuition reimbursement program. Yeah. So okay. I'll get reimbursed at the end of this semester. Mm-hmm. But okay. Can you get more hours? Semester. Uh, not without losing some of my grades. Um, How do you know? It's really important. How do you know? Um Last year, I worked about 30 to 35 hours a week, mm-hmm. um, which is why I was able to go debt-free mm-hmm. all of last year without even having to think, oh, my gosh, I need to worry money. Mm-hmm. And um, my GPA was not at the level that I would like. Um, yeah, what was your GPA? What was the level? Uh, my GPA level was about a 2.8, a 2.9. But mm-hmm. um, since I am not working as many hours, I'm able to get it up to a 3.0. So you pick up a tenth of a point. A 2.8, a 2.9 versus a 3.0. Yeah. Okay. And what are you studying? Um, Right now it's chemistry and medical laboratory sciences. What are you going to do? Hopefully one day work in a medical lab in a hospital, um, Mm -hmm. doing lab write-ups and blood typing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, okay, cool. Cool. Well, you're obviously bright, and you're obviously a hard worker. I actually think I would pick up more hours and and fight my way through the GPA issue. If you were telling me you're dropping a full grade point or something, we'd talk about it, but you're dropping a tenth of a point. When you went from a 3.0 to a 2.9 or a 2.8, you're dropping a tenth or or, or a fifth of a point. You know, it's not not that much. Um, And uh, usually that's not going to be a job disqualifier, a 2.8 versus a 3.0. 
um, in very rare circumstances would that be would that come up now if you're trying to qualify for medical school or something like that it'd be, it might be a different mm-hmm. equation but um, uh, I'm gonna fight my way through this and the other thing I do is ask my parents is there anything that we can do at home to help me do this because if I can't get this figured out mom and dad I'm not willing to go into that and I would mm-hmm. have to transfer to a different school now the transfer to a different school would be how much uh, what would be the savings well, it would probably be about five thousand dollars in savings because I would move back home, oh. and then I would just be able to pay tuition okay. um, through a local university. Okay. All right. Well, I mean that's an option, and it's not a bad option if you can finish, still finish out if everything transfers, and you can finish out in the same period of time. Um, the school you're at, you've almost got it, though. I mean, you're right on the cusp. You know, mm-hmm. you're right on the edge of being right. able to do it. So I, I, you know, and count, you know, I also count the summers where you can work 80 hours a week, you know, and just go crazy in the summer and just pile up big, big piles of cash. So I, I, you know, I I talk it through with them some more, but I think you, it's okay for you to throw down the gauntlet and go, I'm just not willing to go into debt. I'm not going into debt. So let's figure, help me figure this out where, where I don't go into debt. Cause I either got to move back home and go to this school or I got to pick up more hours or I got to do something. But would y'all look at it, mom and dad with me and help me figure out how I can do it without debt. Hey guys, Rachel Cruz here. Hope you enjoyed that video from the Dave Ramsey show. If you want to watch another great video, check out my video, three things you should consider renting right over here or click the link in the description below.